In this video, we will see how to prepare correcting entries. Unfortunately, errors may occur in the recording process. Companies correct errors by journalizing and posting correcting entries. Correcting entries are made whenever an error is discovered. Recording correct entries is an avoidable step if records are error-free. Then there is no need to prepare correcting entries. Correcting entries must be recorded before closing entries. Let's look at an illustration to see how we can prepare correcting entries. Kenyon Company's accountant has made some errors in journalizing transactions. We are required to prepare correcting entries. In the first transaction, a payment of $920 to a creditor was made, but accounts payable was debited for $290 and cash was credited for $290 in the journal. By doing this, the company has overstated accounts payable and understated cash by $630, the difference between $920 and $290. To record the correcting entry in this instance, we debit accounts payable for the difference amount of $630 and credit cash for the same amount. In the second transaction, supplies have been purchased on account for $550 that was wrongly debited to the equipment account for $55 and accounts payable was credited for $55. In this case, the company has overstated equipment by $55 and understated supplies by $550. It also understated accounts payable by $495, the difference between $550 and $55. To correct this transaction, we debit supplies for $550 as supplies were bought and not the equipment and we credit equipment for $55 to nullify the previous debit. Accounts payable was given the right effect, but the amount was incorrect. So, to bring the accounts payable up to date, we credit accounts payable for $495, which is the difference between $550 and $55. In the last transaction, a withdrawal of cash for $650 for Kenyon's personal use was debited to salaries and wages expense instead of owner's drawings. Here, the company has understated owner's drawings and overstated salaries and wages expense by $650. To correct this, we debit owner's drawings for $650 and credit salaries and wages expense for $650 to nullify the previous debit.